Hello, hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello, hello. Okay. So today we're going to continue with the last part of unit one. Okay. Let me share. Okay, guys, so let's see. If you remember what was yesterday's topic, Alexa, what was yesterday's topic? About countables and incountables. Mm -hmm. Countables and uncountables. What else? We have two expressions. What else do you remember about yesterday? Or about the first class? Oh, let's see. Uh, there, there is, there are. Mm -hmm. There is and there are, exactly. That was the first topic. We studied there is and there are on Tuesday. On Wednesday, that means yesterday, we studied countable and uncountable now. Okay, if I ask Rigoberto, what is a countable noun? Is uh, the noun is a uh, um, example example uh, uh, mm -hmm. banana, orange, apple. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Uh, but, uh, I don't know anything. <laughs> yes, exactly. So they are the things that you can count. Exactly. Like banana, apple, oh, what, what else did you say in this one? Uh, carrots, coconuts, yes, cucumber. Mm -hmm. Yes, all of them that you can count. And okay, thanks. Now, Alexa, what is uncountable now? Nouns uh, that we can count. Exactly, that we can't count. For example, Alexa? Water, juice, tea, mm -hmm. um, abstract things, mm -hmm. um, materials, Water. substance. Yes, exactly. All those kind of things that you cannot count exactly because they are so tiny or they are liquids, they are creamy substance or what else, they are abstract elements that you say that we cannot count. Okay, guys. So for today's class, I bring two expressions that they are so important if you want to ask uh, questions about countable and uncountable nouns. I want to show you the picture and please try to select the best option for each. Okay, let's see. Uh, Rigoberto, what could be in this one? How many? How many? How many? Yes, how many apples are there? Yes, then Alexa, what about number two? How many? How many? Yes. Beatriz? How much? How much? Yes. Patty? Uh, how many? Mm, how, how many much? minutes? How, how, um, how much? No, how much? much, much. How much? Yes, much because. Much. You have to oh, measure. Yes, yes. yes, exactly. Okay. Now, Rigoberto, how? How many? How, how many, many orange are there? 
Mm -hmm. How many orange are there? Okay, Alexa. How much? How much? How much juice is there? Yes. And Bethany? How much? How much bread have we got? Yes. Now, Patty? Eh, ay, perdón. <laughs> es, eh, how much? How much, yes. The how much, exactly. Rigoberto, again. Ah, let's see, next. Number. Okay. Ah, I cannot pass. Let's see. Ah, I don't know what's happening. Okay. It's freeze. Okay. I will recharge. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Give me a second. What's number nine? Okay. So nine. eight, nine. Yes. Okay. So. How much? How much? Exactly. How much? Yes. Now, Alexa, next one. How many? How many? Exactly. And batteries? How many? How many? Yes. Now, uh, let's see. The, um, Patty? How many? How many? Okay, and Rigoberto, next. How much? How much? Yes. And let's see, Alexa, help me with the last one. How much? How much butter do you need for the cake? Okay, guys. So, when you ask about nouns, and you have divided, right? You have two categories. You have countable and uncountable. These are the type of expressions that you can use. How much and how many. Now, when we use many, help me with this, uh, Beatrix. And use the word many when the noun is countable. How many count, counts? How many games? Two, how, too many chocolate bars. Yes, exactly. Thanks. Now let's see, Patty, when we use much? Okay, use uh, the word much when the noun, when the noun is uncountable. How much kept? How much pet petrol? I see yes, mm -hmm. petrol. Mm -hmm. E too much too much sugar. Yes, too much exactly. Sugar. Too much sugar. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. And uh, remember that if you have two words, then you can join or you can like pronounce them like a just one word. Like if it was just one, you can do it. Like combine the sounds to connect the next word. Okay. Now. Uh, so you have much and you have many. If you can count the noun, we use many. If you can't count the noun, you just much. Now I got I'm going to show you some pictures and you have to tell me some sentence with pictures and you have to select the best option. Okay, let's see Alexa, which would you choose? How many? Mm -hmm. Read the full sentence, please. How many children will be attending the theater? Uh, how do you say? Uh, theater. Theater. Okay. Trip. Yes. Okay. Now, Alicia, thanks. Um. There was so how much noise coming from inside the classroom that I couldn't hear myself think. Mm -hmm. Yes, much noise, exactly. Now, Patty. I wonder uh, how many, 
honey my disc will produce this year. Okay, but you're talking not about the bees, you're talking about the honey. So it's Hello? many? Many um, or much? Much, 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 much. How, much. Uh, I, wonder, uh -huh, I wonder how much honey. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, M much. Because you talk about honey and that's like, mm, that could be a sticky, creamy substance. So you are not talking about bees. So es that's why it's much. Perdón, es que mm -hmm. está eh, hablando de la miel, ¿verdad? Exacto. Entonces, no de las, me dejé llevar por las abejas. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, yes, because of the picture, but no, it's about the hunt. Yes. Okay, now let's see. Um, Tatiana? Yes, uh, personally, I think that there are too many chocolate bars. There for one person to eat on their own. Mm -hmm. Yes, many. Okay, remember that chocolate is uncountable. But if you have a measuring unit, you can use, you can count it, right? Like separate items. So chocolate bars, there will be many chocolate bars. Like you said, so yes, that was correct. Okay, now let's see Ulises. Tell me about this one. I can't believe how, how much water you have spilled is spilled on the floor. Mm -hmm. Yes, how much water you have spilled on the floor. Yes, it's uncountable, so you use much. Now, what about this? That could be tricky, so be careful. Uh, Alexa. How many grams of sugar does the recipe suggest that we use? Uh -huh. Okay. What is, why is many and not much? Why? Because sugar is uncountable. Grams. Exactly. Sugar is uncountable, but you have something else. You have grams. So you are counting separately. So you say how many grams? Of sugar. Yes, it's true. And let's see. Okay. When you talk about money, you have to be careful because it depends of uh how do you divide it? Let's see. I will ask to okay, Ulysses, help me to read. Mm. Well, oh. Ah, when talking about money, we will ask, how much money do you have? This is because the word money can refer to notes, coins, pins, pins, okay. coins, mm -hmm. and lots of other currencies. Currency. Mm -hmm. Currency. Before it is a uh, an uncomfortable noun. Yes, exactly. That's why it means to be both countable and uncountable. But if you want to ask about a specific coin, you will say this. Medium. Tell me to read. If you want to ask. Hmm, you're not there. Let's see, Alexa. If you wanted to, to ask about a specific coin, you will say, how many 20 pennies coins do you have? Okay, this is because? Continue, Alexa. This is because the 20 pennies coins are countable now. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So that's why if you talk about them in general, it's uncountable. If you talk about money in general, that's uncountable. But if you have a specific coin, that will be 
responsible. So that's why be careful with that because can be both at the same time. Okay, now recap. Let's see, Mitzi, help me to read. If the noun is countable, use many. Mm -hmm. And? If the noun is uncountable, use much. Exactly. So that's why how you divide it. Okay, give me a second. Okay. Now, how many with countable math? How much with uncountable math? If you talked about or you asked about countable nouns, you can give me the type of answers. Patty, if I ask you how many apples are there, what could be the two possible answers? Es que lo lea, que lo lea, teacher. Sí. There, uh, how many apples are there? There is an apple, uh, there are two apples. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. If I Next. ask, no, just that. Okay, if I ask about countable, you can give me two. There is an apple or there are two apples because countable will be singular and plural. But if you ask about uncountable, you only can give me one type of answer. Janet, if I ask you how much milk is there? Hmm? Um, pardon, teacher. <laughs> yes. Okay. If I ah, ask, uh -huh. uh, is um, incontable. Uh -huh. This, read this. There is. There is. Some milk is much. Much. That, that's for the question. How much milk is there? There is some milk. That's okay. the answer. It's correct. Okay. But tell me, guys, if I say there are some milk, is possible? Rigoberto, is possible? Mm. Mm, no. No, it's not possible. Because R is just for which but plural. 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 plural, yes. Plural yes. and countable, exactly. And milk is not plural, cannot be plural, and it's not countable, it's uncountable. So that's why you only say there is some. So there are never can be used with uncontrolled. Right? Don't forget. There are the and there are uh, milk bars or bars the milk. Mm -hmm. In that situation, yes, there are some bottles of. Milk. Yes. In this one, yes, because you are not counting the milk. You are counting the bottles. So, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, that's why you can use. Okay, guys. Now, let's see. Okay. Now, I want to share with you one link. But give me a second. Don't want to come. Okay, we're going to complete this on the Jamboard. Let me share the link with you. They will be all together. So please join the Jamboard and work in the same page. Just select one sentence and put the answer. Okay. So I will copy the link on the chat. Please let me know if you can join. Just the first page and the second one. Just these two pages. 
Okay. Just number one and number two. The next ones, no yet. Page one and two. Okay, select any sentence and put the answer. Much or many. Ah, que no puedo escribir. Se lo me Okay, that could be page number one, two, and three. The brackets. Okay, page one, two, and three. Just much and many, much and many. The two possible answers. Another one, no. Oh, no. A mí me saca de la sesión, teacher. <gasps> Really? Why? No sé. No mm -hmm. sé, pero si sí puedo ingresar a la página donde está el, el ejercicio, pero me saca de la sesión de Zoom. Mm, okay. So, okay, guys. For those who cannot join into the Jamboard, eh, give me the answer on the chat. You can give me the answer in the chat. Just put one and the answer. Two, the answer. Three, the answer. Like that. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, you're welcome. But if you can join, do it. Um, you can use the post-it like this one, like okay. the colors. Uh-huh. And you can use this letter T inside of the it looks like a box. And you put it on the picture and then you can write. Uh-huh. Because if you use the pencil, it's more difficult to, to draw the, the letters. Okay, good. Picture number one, two, and three. Page number one, two, and three. Okay, guys, try to complete it because then I want to, I will ask you. Mm, I don't know. What happened? Teacher. Yes, tell me. Wait. Puede poner la pantalla anterior, por favor. Yes. The first one or the second? Ese. Ese. Ok, ok. Gracias. <clears throat> what happened? 
Que parece desaparece todo lo que okay guys so let's continue let's see I will ask you and you have to give me the answer okay so let's see in okay Rigoberto what will be in number one uh Uh -huh. uh, así tengo abierto el, el micrófono. Uh, yes. Number one, I don't have much time. Okay, yes, I don't have much. Yes. Alexa, number two. How much does this toy cost? Uh -huh. How many? No, that would be how much. Because you are asking about the price of something. So you say how much. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, Alicia, number three. Um. Alicia? Only in red, teacher. Yes, number two. Mm -hmm. Okay. How much does this toy cost? Okay, yes. Okay, well, hold on. Now, let's see. Armando, number three. I don't have many spots on my wheelie. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's wheelie. They, they are, those are really. Uh -huh. Yes, that was the answer. Okay, now let's see Janet, number four. There's not um, much much mm -hmm. much there is not much happening today yes that will be abstract so that's why you use much yes okay now Miriam can you participate if you cannot let me know no I suppose you can Okay, Mitzi, number five. Many teachers. There are many. Mm -hmm. Read the full question. There are. There are many issues. Uh, are there many children in the park? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Are there many? Okay. Now let's see Patty, number six. Dipong. I see it. Dipong mm -hmm. has, uh, has many crows swimming in it. Yes. Swimming in it. Many frogs. Okay. Rigoberto. Many. many. Rigoberto, number seven. I don't have much money in my purse. I don't have much money in my purse. Yes. 
Okay, and let's listen, Ulysses. Tell me with number eight. Mm. Mm. Many in the shield of the children are wearing yellow coats. Mm -hmm. Yes, many of the children are wearing yellow coats. Yes. Okay, now let me show you guys another. Um, let's see quantifiers that you can have when you talk about countable and uncountable nouns because many and much they are not the only ones you have another expression okay i will ask you to read by so please try to participate that's important for your practice okay tatiana if i uh let's see a lot of that will be the first one can i use it with countable and uncountable yes or no if you have the spot, the pink spot, you can use it. Countable? Uh -huh. With both? Countable and uncountable? A lot of? Is that true? A lot of. It's true with. that we can? A lot of? It's true that I can use it with countable and uncountable? No, I said uh, uncountable. Uncountable. Uh -uh. No, I can use it with both. A lot of. A lot of. Yes, because you have the spot, the pink spot. So if you have it, you can use it with both. A lot of with countable and uncountable. Okay, now, Patty, what happened with many? Countable. Or uncountable or both. Both. Um, sure. Many water. No, countable. Countable. Yes. Countable. Just with countable. Sí. Exactly. Okay. 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 Don't worry. And Rigoberto, tell me with much. Countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable. I mean. Only with uncountable. Exactly. Much can't be used with countable. And many can't be used with uncountable. Okay. The three of them, guys, a lot of many. And much can be used to talk about this. Okay. Let's see the these examples. These quantifiers are used to talk about large quantities of something. It means much, and uh, that could be big quantity. Okay, let's see the examples with many and much. Ulis, tell me to read the two examples. Excuse me, miss. Yes, tell me to read the two examples. There are Many sandwich on the table. Uh -huh. And there, there is much rice in in the bowl. Uh -huh. Yes. So many and much, they mean big quantity, big quantity, large quantity. And you have many for countable, and that could be plural. Almost be plural. Because many is a big quantity, cannot be used singular, just plural. I cannot say there are many sandwiches on the table because that is not many, it's just one. So must be plural. Or there is much rice. Remember that we cannot use R with uncountable. There is much rice in the book. Okay. And then you have another expression that means big quantity but can be used with both with countable and uncountable and that is a lot of patty help me to read the sentence with a lot of uh, a lot a lot can be used with countable and uncountable countable and uncountable just just be careful with singular and plural in the verb. Uh, uh -huh. There are a lot, a lot of 
sandwich on the table. Countable. There is a lot of a rice in the bowl. Uncountable. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in this one, guys, you can use it with both. A lot of recountable and uncountable. But you have to be careful with the verb to be. Verb to be. Exactly. R is for uncountable. And you talk about uncountable, you cannot say R. There are a lot of rice in the bowl. Never. Just there is. There is yeah. a lot of rice in the bowl. Okay. So, mm -hmm. a lot of big quantities, both. Countable and uncountable. Many big quantity, but only with countable. Much big quantity, but only with on mm -hmm. on what is only with uncountable guys. We don't countable. Okay, now what happened with some? Just seeing the two little spots, the pink spots. And let me ask uh, Alicia, can I use some with countable and uncountable? Yes or no? With both of them or just with one? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. We can use it with both. Exactly. Some. With countable and uncountable. Okay, and what that means some? Let's see. This quantifier, guys, indicates, indicates a neutral quantity. It's not big. It's not a small. It's like to say it's also more or less. It's neutral. And can be used with both. Countable and uncountable. Rigoberto, help me to read the two examples. Teacher, ¿será mí o, o que se mira mal? Hasta ahorita lo veo bien. Ok. <risa> okay. Veo una pantalla como borrosa. No sé si es uh, pasando. Um, I know. I can see it. Clearly. What about now? It's better? Sí, ahorita lo veo bien, pero como por ratos lo veo como bien borroso. Pero por eso uh. digo no me está fallando el internet o oh, okay. probably <laughs> yes probably okay let me ask Armando how many to read them these two there are some some people there is some border on the table mm -hmm. so it means some can be used with both countable and uncountable only be careful with what Armando we have to be careful with Verb to be. Exactly, with verb to be. Because R is in plurals and is, is in, uh, that will be uncountable, right? Yes. Uh -huh. We don't countable. So, some, it is in neutral, just to talk about neutral quantities. It's not big, it's not small. Okay, now, the next one, guys. A few and a liter. Okay, a few and a liter is when you talk about tiny quantities. It's a small quantity. And a few is for countable and a liter is for uncountable. Okay, let's see the examples. I will ask to, uh, let's see, Janet. Can you help me with the two examples when a few and a liter? Um, el primero. This. Sorry. <laughs> ah, <It's> for so <laughs> tiny. <laughs> yes. This okay. quantifier refer, refer to a small quantities. There are a few eggs in the fry uh -huh. there is a little sugar in my coffee uncountable exactly 
Both are to talk about small quantities. But if you say a few, it's because you have a countable. If you say a liter, it's because you have an uncountable. So that is the difference between them. A few with countable, a little with uncountable. Okay, then we have this one. Let me ask to Mitzi. A and N. Okay. Just with countable or with uncountable too? Tell me. Yes, Betsy? Hi. Sorry. <laughs> okay, help me to read. This mean? This mean one, and they are used with singular countable nouns. There is a cookie in the jar. There is an orange on the top table. Uh, countable nouns are only singular. But you cannot use a and an with them because they are not countable. There is a water in the fridge. Mm -hmm. So you cannot use it, right? This A or N. Why? Because it's I'll show you this sentence. If I say there is an orange, and if I say there is one orange. Is the same? Yes or no? Tell me. Is the same? This two sentence. Is the same, guys? Yes or no? Both. Are the same? Yes. Yes, it's exactly the same. They are synonyms. There is an orange, or there is one orange, is exactly the same. But if yes. I say this sentence, there is one water, is possible? No. No, no, no. It's not possible. So that's okay. why you cannot say, uh -huh, that's why you cannot say there is an water. That's why. So that's why, uh -huh, it's not possible. That's why it's a mistake. When you use this determinate, you only can use with one countable nouns. Okay. Only with countable. With uncountable, no, you cannot use it. And you have the last one that will be any, any, okay. Any can be used with both, countable and uncountable. But be careful with this because any can be used with questions, can be used in negative sentence, but can't be used in positive sentence. You cannot use just questions and negative things. But positive, no, never. Okay, and let's see the meanings. Okay, let me ask to Ulysses, tell me with the meanings. This quantifier, but let me close, put closer the, the picture. Okay, this quantifier is you. This quantifier is used in question and, uh, and in negative sentence. Be careful because there is a change in me meaning. Mm -hmm. In question, any. The first don't define or unknown quantity. Sample. Mm -hmm. okay. Is there any green? Do you have any carrots? Okay. Any negative? In negative, any expresses absence or lack of something. 
Okay. For example, there isn't any bread. There is no bread. Uh -huh. I don't okay. have any carrots. I have not carrots. <laughs> yes, it will be carrots. Okay, it will be. Yes. Okay, guys. <laughs> Sorry for that. Okay, if you have question, guys, you are asking if I have it, but you don't. Uh, for you, doesn't matter if I have one, if I have two, if I have three. You only want to know if I have it. Uh, do you have any cell phone? Yes, I have. I can have one or I can have two or I can have zero. But I don't know. Uh, is there any bread? You only want to know if I have it. But if I have, if I have much uh, or if I have uh, a liter, it's not important for you. And when you're using negative, any express the absence of something. So it means you don't have nothing, zero. There isn't any bread. I don't have any carrots. But you cannot say there is any bread. Or you can say I have any carrots. Never. Because must be a negative structure. Just in questions and negatives. Positive. No, you cannot use it, okay? In positive, no, guys, never. Okay, now let's try to solve this exercise together. Okay, let's see. If I show you, I will show you two pictures and try to select the best quantifier according to the picture. Let me show you. Okay, which picture or what picture Represent many, A or B? A. 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 B. No, B, no. A. Mm. A, because oh, many, uh -huh, many, remember? B what quantity. What represent many? B One. quantity, yes. That could be mm -hmm. some. Letter B could be some, some apples. But many apples? Picture one. Okay. okay. Now, which one represents much? A or B? E. B? Mm -mm. E. Mm -hmm. A. A. Because much is for uncountable. Yeah. Uh -huh, it's uncountable. And many. It's countable. Apples are countable. So that cannot say much apples. Many apples. And I say much me. Okay. Now, what about a few? B? Hey. B. B. Letter B. Because you can count it. It's with countable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what, which picture represents a lot of? A. 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 Because a lot of. No. Contable. But a lot of can be used with both. Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of it for both, countable and uncountable. So it's letter A. And remember, it's a big quantity. Yes. A, a B. No, just A. Mm -hmm. A. Just A. A. Letter A. Okay. Now, a liter. Which one? B. 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 Letter B. Yes. Letter B. Okay, now many. B. B. Letter B. Letter B. Okay, and much. Letter B. 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 Uh, sure. 
Not yes. much. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that one. <laughs> yes, it's letter B. Okay, now many. A. Uh, A. A. Yes. A. Letter A. Many, many cookies, you say. Uh huh. With cheese? No, because that would be much cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay, now A. B. B. No. B. Mm -hmm. And if I say N? B. B. Letter B. Exactly. That will be letter B. Okay. Now, guys, if I show you this, this one. Okay. Let's see. Number one. If I mm -hmm. ask to Ulysses. There. There is a. Mm -hmm. There is a or n. A or n. Mm. Some any a or n. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. It's a noun. An. Yes. And. Apple, yes. Okay, now what about, let's see, Armando, number two. There aren't? There aren't any X. Any, exactly, yes. because it's negative, yes. Because any negative. X. Yes, exactly, perfect. Mitzi, number three. There isn't? Any. Uh -huh. Any, any, yes. And meet it, the next one. There is much. Some. No, 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 no. Some. No, it doesn't have mm. things in this exercise. Yes. That will be some. That is some mm. orange juice. Okay. Some, um, um, now, um, what um. happened with price? Let's see, Tatiana. There isn't. Any? Any. Exactly. Any price. Because it's negative. Okay, Alexa, number six. Mm -hmm. There aren't any. Yes. Uh, let's see. Ulysses, seven. There isn't in number seven. Uh -huh. Any? Yes, mm. any. There isn't yeah. any milk. Perfect. Okay, and I'm on the number eight. There are there are some bananas. There are some bananas. Yes. Okay. Now, Rigoberto, there is. Uh, there is a bread. Uh huh. Sure, there is a. No. 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 And. Because it's uncountable. Uh, <laughs> Mm, I'm uncomfortable. Is no, no, and Thompson. Some. 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 Okay. Yes. There is some. Some breath. Yes. Exactly. Now, Patty. There are. Mm. There are some tomatoes. There are some. Ooh. Yes, there are some tomatoes. Yes. Alexa, 11. Any. Any. Because it's negative. Okay. Ulysses, 12. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
escucha, Miss. Now, yes. There is an avocado. Yes, an avocado, yes. Okay, Mitzi, 13. Mm -hmm. Okay, Patty. Any. Any. No. Ah, uh, yes. Any. Sorry. Uh, sí. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Any. Any gets it. Yes. Okay. And the last one? There is? A water. A water. Water. A water? No. Some water. Some water. water. Some water. Sí. Some. Some water. Exactly. Yes, there is some water. Okay, so and to finish with this, I want to. Okay, we're going to have this and this maze, and you have to select the correct quantifier. Okay, Patty, what could be in the first one? Many or much? Mm. Many. many. How many? How many brothers? How many? See. Yes, how many brothers? How many? Okay. Rigoberto, what about this? I would like some, any, many. Mm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I I like um whoa. <laughs> mm. <laughs> let's think pizza it's some. countable some some yes some okay Ulysses do you have any or some do you have some some, some. No, that's not correct. That's any because it's a question. Okay. Okay, that was how many. Mm -hmm. I like some. some. And this one? Do you have? Any. any. Yes. Okay, now let's see. Any volunteer with this one? Sorry, I don't have many, any, or some. Many? Many. Any. Any or many? Any. 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 Because it's negative. Okay. Now, how much or many? Much. Much. Much milk. Yes. I need more bread. That will be some more bread or any more bread. Some. 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 Some, some. some more bread. Okay. How people? How much? How many? How any? How many? How many? Any. Yes. How many or how any? Many. 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 Yes. yes. There aren't any or some. Any. 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 Exactly. Now, how much? Many or any water? Much. Much. How much water? Okay, now Annette has some or not? Some. Some. Some pencils. Okay. Biscuits. How much or many? Mm. Many. many because it's contable okay rice in the cup how much. Mm -hmm. much much okay yes guys and that was the first okay guys so that will be uh, everything for today class today we learn quantifiers and we review how much how many uh, tomorrow we have class don't forget please try to be on time and Try to participate. That's important for you. Okay? And I hope to see you tomorrow. Too.
Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you, Good night. Good night. You're welcome, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Take care.